I'm just checking to make sure that we are live here and we are. Okay. Ciao, benvenuti. My name is Marisa and uh, I'm from All Our Way and at All Our Way we like to show you how it can be fun to be in the kitchen and to prepare quick and easy recipes. And if you join us, perhaps along the way, you'll sample a little bit of La Dolce Vita. Today, what I thought we'd do is, since we're all so busy, uh, by the way, do you have all your shopping done? If you do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you would see the other room, it is packed full of packages still. They're unwrapped, but that's okay. I'll get them done today and tomorrow. Anyway, what I thought I'd like to share with you is a really easy recipe I've made, oh, many, many times in the past. And it's perfect for the holidays. What I did was when we went to the store, we got colored tortilla wraps. And this one is a garden spinach herb. And this other one is a sun-dried tomato basil. And what we do is we make little pinwheel spirals so, um, what, and you will need some um, spreadable cream cheese. And the one that we got was uh, jalapeno, and that's to go with our turkey, chipotle turkey, which is very, very good. It's, it's not too hot anyway. I mean, how many times have you, have, have they said that it's really hot, but it's not. So anyway, if you're just joining us, I'm Marisa from All Our Way, and we are making appetizer spirals today. Uh, then we also have a beef. Ideally, if I had a chance, I would have gone ahead and made beef with some kind of a horseradish and, um, and cream cheese. So um, to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and start with the green one. I mean, they're so pretty for, for the Christmas holidays. So we will start off with this, a green, and we will put the garden, let's see, it is called chive and onion, which is really good. So, uh, and one thing that's very important about this is don't, you, you need to go to the very edge with your cream cheese, but with your ingredients, you can't go too far, uh, otherwise it won't stick that well. So it's very easy to do. Make sure that your cream cheese is warm so you can spread it. And you can make it as, oh, as much as you want on here. We don't like to do too much. So anyway, uh, I have a funny story to tell about a Christmas one year. <laughs> I, we were really, you know how kids are, how curious they are about uh, presents. Well, this particular year, we were hiding them next door at our neighbor's house when we lived in town. Her name was Stella. So we put the kids to bed. It was Christmas Eve. So we were going back and forth. Our uh, basement doors were kind of, oh, just a sidewalk apart. So we went from one basement door to the other door taking everything into the house. So Christmas morning arrives, everything's under the tree and wrapped and the kids are all excited. Uh, hubby and I are sitting around, I'm drinking coffee. So I asked my daughter, Shelly, I said, how'd you like the dollhouse? And she says, what dollhouse? I said, uh, Santa was supposed to bring you a dollhouse. And she said, I didn't get one. I said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I kind of nonchalantly go in the kitchen, make a quick phone call, tell our next door neighbor Stella that we have to come over. At, yeah, there was still one more present down in the basement. So what my husband did is we didn't want to get ratted out for uh, getting, you know, not being Santa Claus anyway. So uh, we kind of pretend like we're looking around and then we, we go to the back door. We go, oh, look at that. He left it at the back door. It was just too big to bring down the chimney. So she got her dollhouse and we got away with it that year, but it wasn't too many more years where we, we could get away with telling stories like that. Okay, next I go ahead, we go ahead and put on the, this is the, this is the, the roast beef. And you can kind of, you can use any kind of lunch meat that you like. You can even use uh, uh, prosciutto, you can use um, salami, anything that you like. So we'll, 
we won't make it too, too thick. And then to top that off, what we do is we go ahead and we put a little bit of spinach on it. And I, uh, we did some yesterday and we put a little bit too much spinach and if you put too much in there, then it, it won't hold. It's, it, there's just too much of a gap. So here's, here's the spinach. Remember I told you about putting uh, paper napkins in with your clean spinach? Hi, if you're just joining us, I'm Marisa from All Our Way, and we're making spiral appetizers, which are really easy to do. So um, tell me where, who you are and where you're from, and give me a thumbs up. So anyway, just a little bit of spinach in there, just for, for the green. There we go. So do you have a, a traditional appetizer or traditional food that you'll set out? I know our kids have fa favorites. They kind of go in spurts. We've had really super favorites, and then we, we decide we want to try something different, and we go with something different, and then, well, then we go back to the same old. All right, now what I'm going to do is you start at one edge here, if, if you can see this, and do it tight because you don't, you want that spiral to be really, really good and tight. All right. So here we go, here we go, tight as it can be. And what we'll do now, we'll let it sit, we'll, I'll wrap this up in saran wrap. And I'm gonna make sure that these edges have, all right, right there. Okay, that seems like it's pretty tight. So I'll take the saran wrap. Hello, if you're just joining us, we're making spirals and they are really good, and this is really, this is the type of thing that you can have during the holidays, and they make really good nibble food, too. In fact, we bought some one year, and we kind of had them for lunch. We just had a few of the spirals, and then we went ahead and uh, ate on them. So they're not, they're not that rich, and uh, so here, there's, there's one. Okay, now we'll put this in the refrigerator just for several hours, and they'll really stick together well. But if you see that they're not, the little edges are coming apart, just go ahead and add a little bit extra cream cheese to it, and they'll be fine. All right. Now, I have a, I found that, that the colored tortillas wraps have a tendency to be not as pliable and not as, uh, well, pliable. And... As, as some of the other tortillas. And the funny thing about it is one, one time we were in St. Simon's Island and we bought uh, tortillas uh, to make lunches. We like to make wraps. Well, we didn't, for some reason, we didn't go ahead and do it. We, we just brought them on home. Well, <laughs> we had, this is in May. So we had them all summer long, an open package, took them back down to St. Simon's and they were just as fresh as they could be, which was kind of funny. You, you just wonder about things, you know, lasting that long. So anyway, um, this is the, this is the mm, spicy jalapeno. But you can use just plain cream cheese. If you don't like spicy, if you don't like uh, having anything that, uh, or somebody in the family doesn't like it, just make it plain. They have plenty of flavors that would be great to go ahead and, uh, to have for these. All right. You know, I, I really miss the whole myth about Santa Claus now that I'm a Nona a grandma. Um, I remember when the kids were little, they had those wonderful Penny's catalog. Penny's and Sears had, had those catalogs that they would send and they would spend hours and hours and hours looking at them. They, I think uh, the Toys R Us used to send some things like that in later years. But anyway, they would spend hours uh, with her list making out exactly what they wanted. Well, then they would go ahead and say, Mom, this is what I want. This is what I want. Well, it got to the point where they were really wanting a lot. So I figured out how to kind of curtail that. And I said, well, you know, Mom, Mommy and Daddy have to pay Santa to bring all these things. And they said, they're not free? I said, no, he sends us a bill 
after Christmas. So, you know, um, you have to kind of lighten up on the list a little bit because uh, we can't pay for all that. So they, they, it was a little bit better. So I, I had an excuse. Santa, you know, Santa can't, mommy and daddy can't afford all that stuff. I mean, sure, we want you to have toys and we want Santa to bring it. But, uh, you know, just settle down just a little bit. Because kid, little kids can be a little greedy as well as adults. But Okay, now this is the turkey. This is the Chipotle turkey that we're going to put on here. And... Again, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave just about that much on the edge there. So, um, but this is really, really nice. And we've taken it uh, to different parties before. And this is always gone. It's just so easy to, to, uh, to take and it's easy to prepare. And you can do this ahead of time, which is always nice to do. Here, I'll just tear that off, put it there. Okay, put another one here. And again, a little bit uh, with, have to be uh, just a, not too, too generous with the spinach. As I said yesterday, I went ahead and made one up and I put too much in it. We had to rewrap it because there was just too much spinach. And you can't, it, it just doesn't go really, really tight. But this is so pretty once you put it on, on a plate, it looks really nice. Okay, here we go now. Whoops. Sticking to my fingers. Tight, tight. All right. So are, are any of you leaving? Are you staying home? Or um, are you traveling very far? If we're not going too, too far, it's uh, 75 miles, about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half. And uh, we're kind of hoping that next year we're not even going to have to travel. Hopefully we'll be in the same town. All right, there we go. Now, again, I will... Take the wrap and wrap that up tight. And these will stay in the refrigerator overnight. I don't think you need to have them overnight. We're just gonna keep it that way. This way they, um, okay, really tight. And that really seals it, makes it nice and sticky. Okay, now I'll put these in the refrigerator and let you see what the finished plate looks like. And, uh, let's see, I'll have to take off the cover. Here is our finished plate. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? They are so easy to do and, you know, with nice nibble food, people come along, they can grab one. And it's not that they're high in fat. I'm, there's not that much cream cheese in it anyway, so um, I think I think you would I think everybody really enjoys them. And uh, as I said, little kids can eat them. And if you have any left over, they're great. You have them for lunch or have them for whenever you want. So anyway, that is our super duper fast. I think I don't know if they make any other kind of uh, wraps or not uh, flavored wraps, but. We, we like the, the red and the green, and the plain ones are fine for uh, any other time. You could probably add arugula in there if you wanted arugula rather than the spinach, or maybe, um, I don't know, in, any other kind of leaf, leafy things that, that you'd like. So I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas, uh, Buon Natale, e Felice Anno Nuovo, and if you're traveling, be sure to travel safe and have a safe journey and we will be back in two weeks two weeks from this Thursday we won't I know there's going to be too many people having a lot to do next week so we're gonna take uh, some time off and we'll probably be in a different place um, in two weeks so Merry Christmas Happy New Year and we'll see you soon Arrivederci